If there's one thing the UK is famous for, besides tea and the Queen, it's the weather, specifically the wind. We've all seen the clips, umbrellas turning inside out, hair whipping violently, and people struggling just to walk straight. It seems like the wind never takes a day off. So what's the deal? Why is the UK so incredibly windy? It's all about location, location, location. The UK is parked in a very unfortunate spot on the global map, right underneath a massive atmospheric highway called the jet stream. The jet stream is a fast-moving ribbon of air high in the atmosphere. It acts as a dividing line separating cold, dense Arctic air pushing down from the north and warm, lighter tropical air pushing up from the south. The UK is the atmospheric battleground where these two giants clash. When these air masses collide, they create massive instability. The atmosphere hates being unbalanced, so it tries to mix the air. This mixing, combined with the Earth's rotation, creates large swirling vortices. We call these low-pressure systems or depressions. And this is where the wind comes from. Wind is simply air moving from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. The bigger the difference in pressure, the stronger the wind. These UK depressions create very steep pressure differences. Furthermore, the UK is an island. Winds coming off the vast Atlantic Ocean, known as the prevailing westerlies, have thousands of miles of open water to gather speed, hitting the UK with full force. And once the wind hits land, the geography makes it worse. Mountains in Scotland, Wales, and northern England funnel the wind through valleys, speeding it up, a phenomenon known as the Venturi effect. So it's not just bad luck. It's a perfect combination of global circulation, a powerful jet stream, and local geography.